everyone. Today we are going to be making coffee filter turkeys. These coffee filter turkeys can be used as a decoration for your Thanksgiving dinner. You can put them on the table as a centerpiece. You can put a magnet on them, put them in the fridge, whatever you want to do, but they are cute and they are really fun and easy to do. So what you're going to need is uh, coffee filters, some googly eyes, some cut up uh, paper for the mouth, a clothespin, some brown paints, some watercolors or markers, whichever you prefer to use, and then some water and a water droplet and then a hot glue gun. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to paint the body of the turkey. Now, what I recommend doing is kind of putting your clothespin um, on something so you can use it to move it around so you don't get paint all over your fingers. Um, and then just go ahead and paint both sides. You may have to do a second coating but it can dry as we're doing our coffee filters. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this to the side, let it dry, and we'll come back and do a second coating. We are going to do our um, turkey feathers with the coffee filters. So what you're gonna need is some water for your watercolors. And then I also have a pipelet here with some water that I'm gonna be using, and then my watercolors. Now I'm gonna be using mostly like red, orange, yellow, and brown, because I wanted to give it like a very earthy uh, color. But what I would do is I like to take my pipette, and if you have a spray bottle, that works too. And I like to just put some drops of water on this to start off, because this is gonna help my colors uh, bleed into each other a little better. Okay. So now just go ahead and start painting. Now, once you have this all colored or painted in, put it to the side and let it dry. You may need to transfer it to a different plate or let it air dry so it dries a little faster, but that is gonna take a little while to do it. So while this is drying, let's go ahead and get our second layer put on our clothespin. All right, so let that dry. Maybe go wash your fingers if you made a mess or if you wanna start working on another coffee filter, you can do that at this time as well. So once your coffee filter and your paint has dried, uh, we can go ahead and putting together the uh, turkey. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my clothespin. Um, the opening here is what is going to be the top part. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the mouthpiece on first. And I like to actually cover uh, the metal part here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. So I went ahead and pre-cut out my pieces and make sure you ask an adult for help, especially with the hot glue gun because it is hot and should be operated by an adult. Okay, so we are almost there. So now what you're going to do is you are going to make sure this is dry, all right? You're going to take your coffee filter and use the side that has been a paint that you painted on because it's going to be a little bit more vibrant than the other side. Just going to fold it in half like this so it looks kind of like, like a taco almost, all right? And you take this off of here, go ahead and place now I like to scrunch it up a little bit to give it a little, to give it a little texture for the feathers. There you go. There is our coffee filter turkey. Again, you can use it as a centerpiece for your table. You can put a magnet on the back and you can hang it on your fridge. But there you go. I hope you guys enjoy doing this craft and have a wonderful and safe Thanksgiving.